Welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Psycho Stationery. So, so casual. casual. I hope everyone is well. As you can see next to me, Ashley is not here this week. Oh. <laughs> Neil is here. Yes, I'm a sub. Actually, we did not mention this on last week's episode, but Ashley uh, went under some surgery last week. Just like yeah. a minor procedure. So she should be back next week. Um, so everyone just send her your well wishes and um, you know, hopefully she will be back up to 100% soon. I do miss her, but it's good to have you back, Neil. Thank you, I miss her too. Uh, there's, there's been a lot of work. There's no? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we definitely feel when one member of our team is out these days with the yeah, holidays. Yeah. We are working on lots of orders around the clock and that's all thanks to you. So we really appreciate all the support this holiday season. This past week, we had like a really great week. We had lots of events packed into this week. Oh, yeah. um, right after the taping of the last Catching Up episode, okay. actually we had a little get together among our team. We went to the store in Greenpoint. We all met up there after work and decorated the Christmas tree. Yeah. That yeah, fun. that was so much fun and we even had like Soraya came which yeah. was really really good to see her Not everyone works like every single day, but we actually managed to get everyone in like yeah. the whole team was there It was crazy. We took a group photo and It was wild to see last year's group photo which was just like a few of us in the in the photo in front of the tree and yeah. then cut to this year's photo there's so many more of us I know. <laughs> so yeah that was a lot of fun and we had um we had good food we had this huge bottle of sake and so we ordered from a local like korean fried chicken place and oh. it was very delicious very yeah, yeah. Um, and we decorated the tree every year we decorate with like really funny. <laughs> we decorate with stationery, of right. course. Yeah. We had things like obviously maize ornament that right. we made up. Yeah. We also have just collected throughout the years yeah. stationery that uh, has sort of is not 100% functioning anymore, <laughs> but we're too like we're we're too attached to it to really throw it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, for example, we have like the first ever sailor that someone dropped in our store <laughs> by mistake. I remember that. Yeah, yeah I remember that moment. Right. Um, and we have like another sailor pro gear that yeah. has just like it's not 100% anymore. And I'm sure like CY could tune yeah. it for us. Right, right. So we just like held on to it because it still has a little bit of life to give, but it's yeah. not just like like it's not all the way there. So yeah. we actually use that to decorate the tree. If you make it to the store, take a little snapshot of our Christmas tree and let yeah. us know what your favorite ornament on there is. Or you can make your own and hang it on there too. Yeah. That'd be cute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we met up with Bunku Box, <laughs> with, um, Karu and Bruce mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from Bunku Box. Meet up, meet up with them for uh, food, mm -hmm. not some special collaboration projects oh right anything. yeah <laughs> yeah i feel like the conspiracy theories are uh blooming um a lot of people think that we are doing a collaboration with bungu box and while we would love to one day yeah, we're one not day. quite yeah. there yet yeah. it's like a new relationship and it was so nice to meet karu like she's a legend yeah. you know just to meet this person who dreamt up these amazing pens that have just I really feel like they've changed the way that people think about fountain pens mm -hmm. um, and certainly they've influenced the way we have designed our fountain pens as well when thinking about a new pen new colors we have to find possibilities yeah they've thought they've seemingly thought of every possibility so it's impossible not to look at them and have um, inspired and be inspired with ideas yeah, yeah. so it was really cool to meet Karu who's just so humble yeah. um, so like very nurturing I will say she's very like very like um, encouraging of us and yeah. just really told us to reach for the stars and talking to her was really I felt motivated <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it was like a, a good a full, a full dinner of yeah. 
motivational speech. I know, yeah. yeah. And it's so just it's nice. just the right time because Neil and I have been feeling a little bit tired recently with all of <laughs> all of the holiday <laughs> all of the holiday orders and that everything. Funny, and it was great to just speak to Karu and yeah. have her just be like, It's all you guys are doing a great job. You're so young and you have so much potential yeah, ahead yeah. of you. Um, so it was a really, really great meeting and Bruce is Bruce her husband is also um, phenomenal. He's like so kind and it was really nice to just meet with both of them and we yeah. hope to see them again in the future very soon. Yeah. And actually they brought us this little a little gift from Boongaba. This is a little notepad that Karu made. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually textured. I think you can see it a little bit here now. And it's textured because it's actually made out of recycled milk cartons, that was very which cool. I've never Mind even blown. heard of. Yeah. Um, and I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but apparently it works really well with fountain pens. So yeah. um, I'm excited to try this one. And it's like a really soft paper yeah. um, that I've never heard of before. And mm. obviously it has like Boonga Boxes, Ink Tells More little slogan yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. So that is really cool. Thank you, Karu, for bringing us yeah, some, I... some gifts. And if you are looking for some um, collaboration, comment below. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> if people have any ideas. Oh, oh yeah, we're uh, just gonna. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll take any suggestions. Yeah, and then other than that, we have some newly added stationery that we worked on this past week. There are some really exciting Very new cool stationery. Yeah. Very cool ones that we're excited to talk about. There's a lot of ink pads. We have a lot of ink pads that are scattered around the table over here. We love these ink pads. I personally love these ink pads. So these are the new Shachihara Warabe ink pads. And for anyone who doesn't know, Shachihara is an ink pad company from Japan. They're like over 100 years old, right? Um, they're really old. They've been making ink pads for a long time. And in Japan, they do like the name seals. So um, everyone in Japan knows about Shachihara because everyone has like a stamp with their name on it that they use to like sign documents and they have that in Taiwan too, right? Yes, uh, if you go to a bank, you have to bring your, your stamp. Yes. You open your account with a stamp and your signature. Yeah, how and cool? Cool? Mm, a little co inconvenient. No, it's like an ID, but it's so much cooler than ID. Uh, because the, the, the font is very unique and then they scan it into the computer. So then next time you want to do something uh, big that is part of your security check. Mm. So if you lose that stamp, it's gonna be very hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a system that's like literally from 500 years ago or something. Burr. Yeah. But Burr. I think that's cool. I don't know about you. I think that's cool. <laughs> um, so Shachi Hata is a really old company because they're best known for making these 500 year old stamps, you know, whatever. Like they're, they've been making these stamps forever. But what I love them is that what, what I love about them is their quality of the ink pads. They make really, really good ink pads that are not overly inky. So they yeah. apply just the right amount of ink. Um, and they're also waterproof ink. They released their Iromoyo color ink pads a couple of years ago and right. they've added more colors to it in total. Oh, I actually don't know the number of colors total. Maybe like. 30 or something, right? I want to say 29. Oh, 29. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had to correct me on that one. <laughs> I, I'm not 100 percent sure. I think originally 24 and oh, five additional. Maybe that, that sounds about right. Yeah, they um they kind of cross source through Instagram mm. and people pick five different colors. It seems so weird that they would land on such an uneven number, though. So I believe we have 29 here. Or I could be wrong that we only have 24. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of colors. Should we count? No, I didn't bring all of them here oh, okay. even. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there were too many. It would be too messy. Yeah. But so they released their Iromoyo colors, which are just like a wide range of colors that are yeah. drawing from colors from nature, which is a common theme that we see across Japanese stationery. Typically, they're available on these larger sizes. Iromoyo ink pads are this size. Chachihata Warabe ink pads in these tiny little squares that are like one 
fourth or like one third of the size. What's also really cool about them is that they stack on top of one another. So, um, you know, they're just telling you to get all of them basically. <laughs> and I get lots of questions all the time about like, what is the quality of these ink pads? Yeah. And the most frequently asked question I will say when it comes to ink pads is always, does this bleed through Tomoe River paper? And so I thought I would do a little demonstration today. Okay, so I have my inked up stamp over here and I'm just going to stamp it on the paper over here and we'll see what it looks like on the other side of it. So that is That is the... so nice. <laughs> Did it shock you? At oh. the moment it, it reveals from the paper. Oh my yeah. god, that was a candid moment from Neil. I, that I like, surprised wow. me, like his I reaction. Like, I was wow. like... So what's really cool about Shachihara stamp pads, ink pads, is that it captures all the details of stamps, which is great for really detailed stamps like with LCN stamps. Um, and then I'll show you on the other side over here. So you can see, you can see through it because it's Tomoe River paper and it is thin, but it doesn't bleed through. So you can still write on the other side. I know with a lot of other ink pad brands, you can actually see the ink seep through the other side of the page. Um, which... Is it just because this is pigment based? No, pigment? I don't think so. Oh. I think it's because of the texture of the ink pad. It is really like the way it's woven. Yeah. It really keeps the ink in there. Like if you use like the Tukineko ones, for example, not to yeah. bash on them, they have like really pretty colors, okay. but they're really inky. And when you press down on it, you can see the ink sort of almost puddle up on the pad. And you don't get that with Shachihara. Oh. I love these Shachihara pads. Anytime somebody asks me to recommend a stamp pad, I say Shachihara. Yeah. Next up, maybe you can talk about this one, y'all. What is this one? Friction Zone! Oh, Friction Zone. Yeah, we are very excited to to get some Friction Zone. And there are so many colors. So many colors. So many different bodies. The regular body, like this, they come in 0.5 right here, 4 or 5 colors. But then they also do this thing where they have the wooden body. They use it in their S30 and maybe Dr. Grip. And then they also use this. Oh, there we see it again. Yeah, Pilot's yeah. favorite marble. <laughs> the marble resin body, the refill. This is the most exciting part, actually. Yeah, they actually update the whole design, and including a refill. A refill is a metal body with what they call a friction version 2. And version 2 writes V2. Much, much darker. Uh, a lot, really, visibly much darker. So I wrote with version 2 and 0.4 and a version 1.5 and you can tell the version 2 is just much darker it looks like a normal black ink which is nice you normally yeah. don't get that from the friction pens yeah um, and if you already have a friction pen friction pen comes in so many different bodies mm -hmm. and this one will fit into uh, your friction pen oh good question oh good, good question. answer good, good answer, good answer. yes you. yes i didn't even think of that but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a really good question to yeah. answer so as I was doing some research, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, if this ink is so good, discontinue. Going, yeah, no one's gonna buy, you know, the existing right um, pens anymore. Right. Um, so I think that's why they picked this mm. metal body to right. make it a little heavier. Right. Make it a little more um, like version two. Version two. Not Overall, like the, yeah, not yeah. just yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the whole thing is upgraded. Right. right the whole thing is yeah. upgraded. So if you have like a metal like friction biz. Mm-hmm that use the regular refill, that's mm -hmm. the thicker one, then it is interchangeable. Mm -hmm. But not the multi patents. Not the multi yeah. patents. Yeah. Right, right, that's right. Yeah. Also new, we have, you know, we're really excited about Boonga Box, and we have Boonga Box's uh, line of inks, Ink Tells More. Yeah. They, this is not a new product from Boonga Box at all. Yeah. Like a lot of their pens that we're releasing are relatively new, but Boonga Box made these inks years ago. What's really cool is the shape of the bottle. So I'm actually going to be unboxing this because Karu asked me to show everyone how to <laughs> unbox this. So I'm That's a little right. bit nervous. That's right. I think, <gasps> I, I think I was a little embarrassed because I was like, I actually haven't tried 
to I've seen the post right, before, right, but right. I've never I haven't tried it in purpose right. because it's being so busy. Yeah. And I I was like, oh my god, I didn't do my homework. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's you know, Cara's very proud of the design of this yeah, bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she put a lot of thought gonna, into it yeah. and the whole ink tells more thing yeah. is sort of the whole reason for existence of Bungu Box. Like they want everyone to write more right. and the whole idea is that writing really brings out each person's personality in a different way. And so these inks tell more. Instead of opening it this way, which many people do, you are meant to actually punch your thumb in here. and the ink bottle actually looks like this. So it's a heel-shaped ink bottle as opposed to, it's a unique shape, obviously, um, you can see. What this allows you to do is tilt the bottle to get, like when you're really, when you only have a little bit of ink left, it allows you to tilt the bottle to really gather the ink in one spot. Um, and what you're supposed to be able to do is keep the paper box and use this like this. So when the ink gets low, you can actually open this cap, tilt the bottle like that, and insert your pen from an angle like that so that you can fill your pen more easily and without having to tilt the bottle uh, on your own and hold it in the air. And I like love the adorable design of this bottle. It looks yeah. like a shoe. It's so cute. And that is about it for this week's newly added stationery. But I do want to mention we are also excited to, to announce that we are working on adding some Ferris wheel press inks yeah. to um, our, our store. Do you have a favorite, Neil? Uh, my favorite is definitely the, well, well, I have to say Bungu Box. Oh! Or do I have to say? Uh, the, 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 uh, well, well, actually, it's the Friction Rero. <laughs> just be honest. They're, you the worked on these. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. They're your babies. Um, I think it's a breakthrough in the stationary technology. Mm -hmm. It's a big development. It's a huge development. Yeah. It might not seem like it, yeah. but it's an amazing refill. Mm -hmm. It started, what, like 15 years ago? Mm -hmm. And to, to go from you know, you started something that changes the way we journal, the yeah. way we write. That's yeah. a pretty big step. And wow. now you're updating it. Wow. Instead of just like, oh, I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. And people love it. Let's continue just having it. They're not. Let's make it better. Yeah. And right. They are making it better. Right, is, right. I, I think that. Ink tells more. Uh, frequent inks. Frequent ink tells more. <laughs> 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 Yeah. That's what we should call this episode. Frictioning <laughs> tells more. That, that, that's more. <laughs> um, and then boom box. <laughs> that's two out of the three, the three things, Neil. Boom <laughs> box too, we just met with them. Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. funny is that while we were meeting with uh, Bruce and Karu from Boom Box, Bruce like randomly just brought up he because this is like big news in the stationery yeah, yeah, world. He says. News. Friction has a better ink now. Like that, like that is that was like on on his mind. You yeah, know, it really yeah. blew him away too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, what, that's what we're all gonna be talking about in store. Have you heard about this? Have you heard? Everyone, everyone's like talking about friction. Yeah, new I friction. know. Have you tried this yet? It's the it's the biggest deal. <laughs> yeah. All right. What what about you? Oh well, you said two out of the three things, um, but I am really excited actually about the Shachihata ink pads. They are they're just my favorite ink pad, like hands down. It's just uh, really easy to work with. They're easy to clean. They're not messy, and now they come in these little miniature sizes that are so cute. Yeah. They're more portable at this time of the year. I think they make great stocking stuffers and just like all the colors to choose from amazing how cute there's refills for these oh i did yeah. not yeah that's true that is also another mind-blowing thing is that they make liquid ink refills for these shachihata ink pads in all of the 29 or 30 or whatever however many colors yeah. they have they have all those color refills right. for them so you can really keep on using these yeah. um because that yeah that foam pad that the stamp pad is on doesn't it doesn't really get old it doesn't wear and tear like others do other than that how was your week in the store neil Ooh, have i been to the store this week 
Now I have to think about it. Oh, you know what? Actually, you didn't because it, not really. You've been just so busy with uh, oh. working on orders and stuff. So I don't know if you spent a lot of time in the store. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you, uh, <laughs> anyone who's watching this, if you, if you notice any mistakes, that's probably from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have been getting lots of emails about mistakes and orders. Uh, um, somebody ordered an AL Sport and we send them a Coeco Classic Sport by accident. <laughs> that's because Neil was very tired. <laughs> we are trying to keep up with, uh, there's a shipping deadline that's yeah. coming up. Yeah. And uh, until then, uh, we have to kind of just kind of do, do more on the fly. Yeah. Yeah, that's all we've been doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what you've been busy working on. I did make it to the store this past weekend though, and I met some really interesting people. Actually, I met uh, one of our, I guess like fellow YouTubers. Oh. YouTubers. Um, oh, I, I met Lori, and she's actually from Boston, and she was coming in from out of town, and she has a couple of YouTube uh, channels. And one of them, she does a lot of stationary stuff, which she loves. She loves fountain pens. She had like a beautiful TSL bag when I met oh, her. Like okay. she just has like, she has an appreciation for beautiful things, obviously. And then she also has like this thrifting um, channel where she does all of this fabulous like thrifting. It was really great to meet Lori and she actually did a little bit of filming in the store with me. It was it's cool to see just like how other people do their YouTube videos uh, too. Yeah. And she's obviously a pro. She gets like lots of views. So she was very casual about it and she just started filming me and it was very easy for her and um, yeah, but it was great to meet her. She was so sweet. She brought a friend. She brought her friend's son and um, she picked up our refresh pen because she made the trip and she wanted something that she could only find at our store. That's cool. There are some things we set aside you know, for special. only in store yeah. because it's special that when somebody makes a trip to Yoseka, we yeah. they can find something that they weren't able to find online. Yeah, so. I love it when I show it to them and they're like, oh my god. I didn't know you had this, yeah, right? No, yeah, it's always a cool feeling. Keep on taking more things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so That's actually funny. not, I don't think everyone knows where everything is. Like what's right, what's right, right. You back. have to talk to the right person. <laughs> like Alex found her Twisby Diamond Mini. Uh, what was that? Like the mint the blue. Mint, yeah. mint blue. We had one of those in That's store, why. and she happened to see it. And I, was, I was very surprised right. because I know there's one left. It was like her first week or something. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Um, and then I also want to give a shout out to our good friend Modi, who's been a uh, customer friend of the week before, because she visited us also from Boston, and she sent us these beautiful watercolors. So thank you so much, Modi. This is, um, you're obviously a really talented artist and you painted and watercolored uh, the Yoseka storefront. And this is just stunning. This is like a little, I don't know, like winter's night, frosty winter's night. So I love that. I think that's about it for this past week. Um, I hope everyone is great at home, getting ready for the holidays, doing your holiday shopping, hopefully finishing your holiday shopping and you're not stressed like me. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope Ashley will be back next week. If not, you'll get Neil again. Um, but <laughs> we're always, always happy to have Neil. Um, yeah, well thank you so much for watching and have a great week everybody. Bye. Bye.